Hello and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a haul video as Cowling Wilcox had a sale on. Um, I think Cowling Wilcox is a worldwide company, but I think it's based in the UK. That's why I probably use that more than other art companies. Um, but they had a big sale on paints at the moment. Um, I think it was up to 70% off, which as you can imagine is pretty decent. Um, and the thing that caught my eye was an advert um, saying that oil paint was on sale. So naturally I went to have a look and was drawn in um, as I always am with art supplies and actually spent a good amount of money on it. But I feel like it was very worth it and I'll go through the prices um, whilst we open this box. Um, there's also two extra little items that I ordered at the same time and I thought I'd include in this haul as they are art related. So um, getting into this box, my camera isn't showing everything so I might, um, well I'll leave, the, I'll leave the box here and I'll just put things up to the camera um, so you can see it. Um, as you can see I did open it, I just wanted to check everything was in there. Um, as things were selling out quickly. So, um, first things first, as you can see, uh, there's quite a lot in this box, <laughs> um, and I'll explain more about this, but we'll start off with this. I actually bought um, a Da Vinci um, soap for paint brushes because I was finding my, my art room, which I will do an art room tour soon, is actually on the third floor, and um, I'm finding taking paintbrushes down things um, and washing them downstairs is just a bit of a hassle and as much as soap isn't going to solve that problem um, I feel it's going to help me maintain my paintbrushes a little bit better and I'm hoping it will help me maintain my oil brushes um, I will say it smells really good um, and hopefully, I don't know, I've never used it please comment below if you have used it um, and let me know if it's good for oil paints because um, that's my main reason for buying because obviously water will wash off acrylics and watercolours but oil paints you need to use terps and I have in the past made my hands red raw by washing lots of paintbrushes um, and it's not been ideal so hopefully this works and saves me uh, having to buy lots of moisturiser for my hands. Um, nextly, nextly, next, um, I have, if anyone follows me on Instagram I actually have been exploring acrylic pouring um, and if you don't know what that is it's basically mixing acrylics with like a pouring medium and um, sometimes silicon and other products and you pour it onto a canvas or slate or tiles and it creates this beautiful artwork that just flows like you don't know what you're going to get you could use the same colours and do about six different canvases and each canvas will look very very different and I've absolutely fallen in love with it it's very messy but I will be doing some videos on this channel relating to the acrylic pouring because I do enjoy it and I seem to be doing that more than anything else at the moment. Um, but yes, I actually had some paints that a friend gave me and I've run out recently um, and thought I might as well stock up. The paints I used before were uh, System 3 acrylics in quite large tubes and those were about seven to eight pounds a tube on the cheaper end. And I kind of, I thought, I, would, I was going to go for those because they were a good deal with the um, up to 70% off. I think they were down from £7 to £5, which is pretty good for the amount of paint. But I did notice these, and I've heard very good things about these Sennelia, I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, where you actually get just, sh just shy of the same amount in the System 3 acrylics, but it comes in these handy tubes, and I feel for that extra little amount of millilitres in the System 3 acrylics, you actually end up wasting that in the, the tubes trying to squeeze them out and these I feel you can actually squeeze them dry and get every little bit of paint out of it so I thought I'd give them a go. I don't know, some of the colours from just looking at the top here look very different to the System 3 acrylics so we'll see. So for these I paid uh, £2.95 and I'm pretty sure these were closer to six pounds or seven pounds so pretty much half price which is is really good um yeah i can't really say much else i'll show you the colors so i got i got colors that i had used um in the paint pouring that i already had and then a few extras that i thought would um look really good with it um and the best ones that i found for pouring with to add a little accent color to the acrylics um are the iridescent um metallic uh like uh, gold, silver, blah blah blah. Um, so I got an iridescent gold, um, an iridescent silver, 
an, an, an iridescent copper and then onto some other colours. They look a lot brighter, um, we might open a few of these and just test them. Um, but deep magenta, which is always a nice pop of colour. Um, so is the purple. I got a cadmium red. Um, I got a few colours that I thought were kind of neutral colours that people paint with all the time, just in case I use these for normal painting as well. I don't know, I've got quite a lot of paints um, and I did buy these predominantly for the acrylic pouring, but I thought cadmium colours would be quite mid-range colours that I can use. So the cadmium red, uh, cobalt blue hue, hooker's green, <coughs> turquoise, which is a colour I've not used yet, but it's a colour that's very uh, popular and I'm actually doing coasters at the moment, so these will look really good. Uh, cobalt green deep hue, permanent green light, Light olive green, cadmium yellow, uh, cadmium yellow lemon hue, and a cadmium yellow deep hue. So there are all the colours. There are a lot of more natural colours. I just I prefer working with those than bright neon colours, etc. So that's that. And then, as you all know, I've been getting into oil painting, hence the video a uh, couple of weeks ago. Um, and I thought I just these were on offer and for a very good price they were down to £1.95 a tube and they are Windsor & Newton and they're usually about £5 and I just could not resist in fact I actually regret not getting more colours but my bank account would not have allowed that and would have frowned upon my spending that much money but um, I got a good amount I think I got 10 colours which is good and it's stocking up on the essentials for doing kind of landscapes and things which is what I want to explore a bit more so you've got your obvious um, titanium white, uh, Prussian blue, which is nice deep blue colour. Um, I also had a look on, uh, had a look at kind of the colours Bob Ross would use um, a lot of, and a lot of those were actually sold out because people must have had the similar idea. Um, so I tried to get a few of those, um, whatever was in stock. Uh, oxide of chrome. Sap green, Van Dyke brown, burnt umber do look very similar. One is slightly darker, lamp black, Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, Raw Sienna, and Cadmium Red Deep Hue. So those are the colours I got. Like I say, they are very natural earthy colours. Um, nothing quite bright with those, but again, that's just because of the style of painting I'm hoping to do with oil colours. So I'll just put this box down there. Um, that's it for the Cowling and Wilcox order. It, it did cost me... Um, about £60 but for all of this paint um, I just feel like it was just a, an absolute bargain um, and hopefully I won't have to buy paints for a, a while to come and that will last me through this quarantine hopefully um, and out the other end to produce a lot of artwork um, so other than that Cowling and Wilcox order which I'll move a bit of this to one side um, I bought a silicon mat for pouring on because I have actually got an oil cloth down at the moment and when I pour on that the paint sticks to it too much and I can't peel it off and so it's causing quite an uneven surface so when I'm drying canvases they are tipping slightly and I'm losing a little bit of my selling and, and things like that so I thought uh, scrap that and just have a nice silicon surface that I can peel all the paint off would be ideal unfortunately you can't find quite large sizes and I had to go with this blue colour which wouldn't have been my first choice but um, it will do I guess um, and then lastly, um, the tripod that you're in at the moment sits at the back of my desk but it's against a wall and I can't, I can't have it over my desk quite as forward as I would like. That's why a lot of my videos you see me pulling things towards me and then having to push them back into camera um, because I just, they're not close enough and I can't um, 
obviously it's hard to work far away from you if you're trying to do detail etc so I actually bought this boom arm and I had a voucher for my birthday for Amazon and um, I thought I'd use it on this so this was actually £20 um, which is pretty decent for the quality um, now I have opened this and had a look um, so it's small it's not the biggest but it's going to attach to the tripod you're, tripod you're on and actually hang out like this and pull a bit further forward um, it's pretty sturdy it's nice and heavy um, and it comes with this clamp which is actually for round um, tube things um, so that will sit really nicely on my current uh, tripod um, so hopefully that will improve my filming and you you won't uh, you won't have patches of video where I'm pulling things off camera and you're not actually able to see anything so that's everything um, I hope you've enjoyed this I absolutely love spending money on art supplies and probably should stop for a while um, so hopefully you might not see a, a hole for a little while but um, no promises there so thank you very much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed um, and a comment if you've used any of these supplies and uh, let me know what they're like um, yeah so I'll see you in the next video bye